What's up guys, Eric here, Mr. Fired Up Wealth. We're gonna continue the artificial intelligence series today. Now this is a stock that you might even own, but you might not realize how they dab into machine learning and artificial intelligence. So I'm gonna cover it today. It's gonna to be a really good video. You're gonna to wanna to see it. If you're new to the channel, or if you haven't seen the series yet, there's several videos before this one, and there'll be several videos after. And this is really focused on high growth, kind of off the radar AI stocks, not your typical large mega cap type stocks. These are more of that high growth and probably stocks that you don't usually think of when you think of artificial intelligence stocks. So we're doing something a little bit different here. Definitely subscribe. You're gonna wanna see the videos that are coming and definitely check out this playlist and watch the videos before this one. So today we're going to continue the AI series. You know, things like artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, neural networks, problem solving. So we're gonna focus on a stock today that can help with chatbots, okay? And this isn't gonna be the stock that you're thinking of because I know what you're thinking of right away when you think of bots and you think of maybe robotic process automation. That's not what it's gonna be today. So according to Accenture, rapid advances in AI like machine learning are bringing many business opportunities for growth and revenue. There are three main factors influencing this fast moving space. The first one, advances in artificial intelligence. A wealth of computing resources and large data samples have pushed AI further and faster than we ever had expected and that's gonna to continue to accelerate. Adoption of APIs and microservices and adoption of messaging by businesses. You might be starting to figure out what this is all about. So what is a bot, first of all? So for mobile messaging, bots are software that lets a customer interact with a business through messaging. You've probably experienced one of these. You've probably used one before, right? You've talked to a bot. Sometimes you don't even know, you don't even realize you're talking to a bot. It's so human-like that it seems like it's an actual person and it can be, it can actually be very deceptive at times. While some bots Bots will operate on their own, many others will support and augment a human agent that's representing the business. Are you starting to figure out what the stock might be? Chatbots can carry a two-way conversation with a human. There's different types of bots. So there's personal assistant bots. They can answer questions, respond to commands, but typically don't carry a two-way conversation. There's notification bots that are made of logic that lives basically in a chat room. They pop up time and again, and they give you information. And then there's command line bots, and those use simple text commands to access services like checking the weather, ordering a car directly from Slack, or controlling an Internet of Things IoT device. So why are bots getting more powerful? I'm gonna to get to the stock pick here in a second. There are three factors influencing the space and we talked about this earlier already AI the API's and then adoption of messaging by businesses this company we're going to talk about covers all three of these areas while some are trying to build a true artificially intelligent bot a hybrid based approach is most practical in many scenarios and this is why this series is so important because a lot of times you just think of artificial intelligence you think of a robot that does everything completely autonomous and on their own and that is a form of AI but there's many different types of of AI that impact businesses on a regular basis. And there's stocks that we use all the time that we don't even realize that are leveraging machine learning and AI. So with the hybrid approach, a human assisted bot is the first to respond entity and it falls back on a human agent if it doesn't know how to respond effectively. So it has that fail, that fail safe, that safety net for a human behind it. Facebook, M and Clara are examples of this type of bot. This is arguably all that many businesses need. The goal of the human assisted bot is to fulfill requests using machine learning as often as possible. Bots can learn from human decisions so they get better with algorithmic and data-driven decisions day by day. So they improve as they get more data, eventually reducing the need for humans to step in at all. That's where the machine learning comes in. Hybrid intelligence is a best of both worlds approach that makes for an excellent way to deliver human style communication at scale. And you can see that chart at the bottom. You've got basically fully automated bots on the right and then human service through messaging on the left. And we're talking about something kind of in the middle. So what are we talking about? We're talking about Twilio. Twilio is number seven on the high growth AI stocks. This is probably a surprise for a lot of people because you might not even know what Twilio does. So what can you do with Twilio? So Twilio is neither a software application nor is it a communication system. And most people will tell you it's a communication system or, if, or it's a software application. It's actually neither of those. It sits kind of in the intersection of both of those software application and communication system. Even Gartner confuses this sometimes. They don't know how to classify Twilio. A lot like a lot of these growth stocks, there's a lot of confusion of what they do. And a lot of times people are buying stocks and they don't even know what the stock really does. So hopefully this is helpful. If you don't own Twilio, I'm very bullish on the stock long-term. If you own it, this is probably good information to have in your wheelhouse as a shareholder. So Twilio basically, helps make software where communication is a feature or user-faced element versus a separate piece of infrastructure. So that's really the key here, guys. 
So if you look at this, why do bots matter as an, an example here? An example of the transition from human agents to bots is the Twilio Task Router API. That's an intelligent routing system. I'm gonna show you a demo here in a little bit of how Twilio works. So definitely stay tuned for that, guys. Task Router dramatically assigns messages to the human agents that can best handle them. Messages and other types of data can be routed based on the skills required and the priority set. After collecting and analyzing messages using the natural language understanding, they call it the NLU, and intent extraction, the next logical step is to automate responses with bots. And this is where the AI and machine learning comes in. So bots enable your business to respond to customer messages promptly and to increase the number of customers you can communicate with at one time. It's a scalable way to tackle the previously unscalable problem of customer support. So here's an example, guys. This is actually a bot. Hi there, I'd like to schedule an appointment on, on this Wednesday. So this bot can actually read the calendar, get back. Of course, we have openings at 11 o'clock and 1.30 on Wednesday. Let's do 11 a.m. Can I have your name to hold this appointment? Sure, it's Jane Smith. This bot is actually gonna schedule this on the calendar with no human intervention whatsoever. Using Twilio Autopilot to build, train, and deploy bots, you can see Autopilot Actions, how it works. So I'd like to book an appointment, okay? And you can see it goes over to Autopilot using that NLA, that natural language analysis. And then there's different prompts and then your application. So that's kind of how it connects it together. It delivers to the channel. It converts to the channel protocol. And then it basically tells the bot what to say back to the person, to the application. So you can use Twilio Autopilot to build, train, and deploy bots that are intelligent. You can build intelligent IVRs, bots, and Alexa apps that are powered by Twilio built natural language understanding and machine learning frameworks, the bots that keep learning, guys. Machine learning keeps learning as it gets more data. Autopilot provides the training pipeline and interfaces to train your bots using real-time data, making your bot smarter over time. Artificial intelligence, machine learning. Bots can and contextually hand off to a human, smoothly transition a bot conversation to a conversation with agents, humans at a contact center, passing along the full context of the interaction to speed up the time, of course, right? Bots for every channel. Autopilot responses are adapted to provide the best experience on nearly any channel, including IVRs, SMS, chat, Alexa, Slack, Google Assistant, and more. Developers can build once and deploy across multiple channels instantly using the APIs. So AI in the contact center. Contact centers they basically have a hive of activity. They're very busy and they're filled with repetitive work. So you think of like robotic process automation, you're trying to get rid of that repetitive mundane tasks, right? Those, those tasks that you don't want to do, that data entry. This is an ideal environment for AI and automation. If AI can deliver what we want it to do, we can actually decrease costs while simultaneously increasing customer satisfaction. Boom. However, there are always roadblocks along the way. We still need human agents to create intimacy with customers. Customers don't want to just talk to robots all the time. Sometimes they want to talk to a human being. Intimacy drives loyalty, which drives customer satisfaction. Satisfied customers spend more money. So with that, you want to keep the human touch, but you also want to keep your human agents happy because repetitive tasks get really bored because you feel like a robot. If you've ever done a job like that, I've actually been a telemarketer in my life and a long time ago, I hated it. If I called you, I apologize. I had to make 200 phone calls every single day, five days a week, a thousand calls. It was absolutely brutal. It was one of my first jobs when I was very young out of college. I did what I had to do <laughs> to get experience on my resume and to advance. And you know, I was hungry, I had drive and I got it done, but I would, I'll never ever do it again. Like I absolutely hated doing cold calls. And not that this is cold calling, but it's that whole repetitiveness where you feel like a robot doing the same thing over and over again. So they wanna keep their human agents happy as well. Happy agents create better experiences for customers and stay with your contact center with your business longer, reducing churn and HR costs. Agent Assist AI can also be useful here. Ultimately, the goal of AI is to help customers have more personalized and efficient experience without them even noticing. AI improves agent conversations by helping to anticipate customer needs and automate actions where possible in case the customers can self-serve and don't need a human. AI tools can help those interactions interactions be more human when they are automated. Twilio Flex was built to allow complete customization along the way in the stack. AI can be applied at every single layer within Twilio when you're using Twilio Flex. So tangibly, you can focus on using AI before the agent interaction, such as building chatbots or using sentiment analysis to improve routing. Or you can use AI to assist agents during interaction for an agent in conjunction with workforce optimization. So a lot going on there, guys, but you can see where AI is really integrated within Twilio 
Twilio at every layer if you want it to be. So benefits of AI, okay? We've already talked about some. AI offers multiple benefits to customers and businesses. Among the apparent benefits to customers is shorter hold times, okay? AI can be used to help route callers to proper destinations quickly, you know, skipping some or all of the traditional phone menu, which is very helpful if you've ever been one of those phone menus. They're a real pain when you have to enter everything in manually. An example of intelligent routing system is the Twilio Task Router API. Now, Task Router dynamically assigns messages to human agents. I'm going to show you a demo in a second of what I mean here so that those agents can handle the situation since the automation couldn't do it you know, for the customer. Messages and other types of data can be routed based on the skills required in the set priority. AI applications like this help build superior customer experiences. Again, kind of want to reinforce that here. For businesses, cost savings are a significant driver to the adoption of AI for customer support. While a customer service phone call can cost a business six to $20 per call, automated calls cost on an average only 25 cents. However, the benefit of AI extends far beyond the bottom line. When automated services take care of a portion of the customer service request, agents are free to handle more complex requests. They also don't get bored and don't feel like a robot and quit like we talked about earlier. So this reduces the customer frustration while continuing to re reduce that load for each of the live agents you have in your call center, allowing operators to specialize and give better service to your customers. All right, guys, so machine learning and Twilio, back to machine learning AI. Machine learning algorithms are at the core of Twilio's most advanced communication deployments. All this information is right from Twilio's website and their blog, you can go take a look. So we talked about Twilio autopilot. Businesses are increasing their use of machine learning to communicate with their customers. For example, message bots provide automated responses based on message analysis using technologies such as we talked about this NLU and also intent extraction. Twilio created autopilot, a conversational AI interface for applications such as messaging bots. That's what we're focused really on today. Interactive voice response. We talked about that IVRs and voice assistance. Powered by Twilio's natural language understanding and machine learning frameworks, autopilot parses data, intent, and tasks from customer interactions to support natural conversations. Let me show you a demo here of what I'm talking about. All right, this is super cool, guys. This is a Twilio Studio demo, basically, right? And it's gonna walk through Twilio Studio. Essentially, you can see, you can drag and drop different widgets to quickly make these bots and to interact with your customers, okay? And basically it uses APIs to do this. It leverages both AI as well as APIs to respond to customers intelligently. So this example here is a barista bot. So you're making an order as a customer to a coffee shop, incoming SMS, so the text, a text alert starts the engagement. The SMS prompts the user for the order. The user responds with a coffee order. If it's a valid order, something that the bot can recognize, it basically confirms the order, takes the order. If you type in something and respond something and make an order that's invalid, it's going to ask if it's okay for a barista to call you to make sure that they get the correct order. If yes, call user and connect to a barista. So you talk to a human to make sure you get the order correctly. This is gonna walk through a lot of the different widgets it takes to basically make this. So this is all pre-built APIs and you can just drag and drop it right into these, these workflows and build these bots. It's really cool stuff. So he's basically done here. I'm kind of fast forwarding. So this is a new message now and he's gonna send a valid order. He's, gonna, he's basically just gonna say hi. You can say anything, the bot's gonna respond, welcome to the automated order system. Please reply with the following options. So it's giving you the options, what you want, cappuccino, Americano, and so on. So he's gonna reply with the correct answer, Americano, it's gonna basically take the order. So what he's gonna do next is he's actually going to test it with an invalid response, so something that's not valid, and essentially make sure that the, the bot is saying, hey, can a barista give you a call? And he's gonna say yes, and the barista is actually going to give him a call and say, hey, what do you wanna order? So thanks for your order, hi again. And it says, okay, now I want, he's making up a name, Brent Chino. the guy's name is Brent. And they're saying, hey, we wanna make sure we get the coffee. You know, is it okay if a barista calls? He says, yes, boom, the barista calls. Now he can give the barista the correct order and make sure he gets his coffee. It's pretty cool stuff. All right, guys, there you have it. Twilio, please subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell to get notifications. Smash the like button. Drop me a comment. Share this with your friends. I appreciate your time and attention. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.